devotion today and I'll be taking it from Deuteronomy chapter 4. Um, the, the key verses is verses 7 and then I'll just read that but then what I want to do is just go back and give a bit of context. So verse 7 says, For what great nation is there that has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? So I'm just going to go back and then just read from verse verse 1, chapter 4, verse 1. Oh now, O Israel, listen to the statutes and the rules that I am teaching you and do them, that you may live and go in and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. You shall not add to the word that I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you. Verse 3, your eyes have seen what the Lord did about Peor, for the Lord your God destroyed from among you all the men who followed the bowel of Peor. But you who held fast to the Lord your God are all alive today. See, I have taught you the statutes and the rules as the Lord my God commanded me that you should do them in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. Keep them and do them, for that will be your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples, who, when they hear of these statutes, will say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Verse 7, for what great nation is there that has a God so near it to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? And verses 8, and what great nation is there that there's that has statutes and rules so righteous as all this law that I set before you today. Now, I look at that um, that scripture there, verses seven and eight. For what great nation is it that has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? And what great nation is there that has statutes and rules so righteous as all this law that I set before you today and two things stand out to me and and the first thing is I thank God for Christ I thank God for Christ that came and reconciled um the the the, the Jews and the Gentiles me and you to God so where it says where it says in verse 7 what great nation is it that has a God so near to it than the Lord our God has to us even though Moses was talking specifically to the Jews um, and the, the, the people of Israel at the time I can look at that verse now and because of the finished work on the cross that Christ did for us that now applies to us as, uh, as Gentiles as well now it says in 8 and what great nation is there that has statutes and rules so righteous as all this law that I set before you today and also what do we know about the law we know that the law was was the law was unattainable hence why Christ came and Christ fulfilled the law so no longer do we have to no longer do we have to to measure up to a standard that we were never going to be able to attain Christ's righteousness is imputed into us and we have that now so because we have Christ we don't have to measure up to this law now the great thing about having Christ as well now is now Christ is in us and in, in John he says that um, you abide in me as I abide in the Father and and it, it's great to know that in, 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 in verse 7 it says what great nation is it that has a God so near to it now not only do we have a God so near to us we have a God who is in us we know that the Christ resides in us he said when he goes you send the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is always with us he never leaves us nor forsakes us and that is just a great thing to know that God Christ came died for us and re reconciled us back to God and not only that we have Christ who is in us at all times and his Holy Spirit is always with us as well um, and it's a script, great scripture that says um what can separate us from the love of christ nothing can he will always love us and he'll always be with us and he'll always be right beside us and and it, it just fills me with joy just to know that the work that christ has done on the cross is 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 a finished work and no longer do i have to to hold on to to all these laws and all these statues i can just have faith and believe in christ who's the author and finisher of our faith so just a reminder that Christ has done the work for us and he will always be with us. Thank you very much.